Hey, can I talk to you for a second about something? You see, I've been watching you. Scouting you is probably a better term. I guess what I'm saying is that you look very capable in a fight, and we need people like you. I'm with the Frontier NCR. Here's a brochure. Read the pamphlet and come visit us, north of Westside. Please be discreet. There's a reason we're using pamphlets instead of radio signal. Well, the rest is in the pamphlet. Remember, be quiet about this. Just read the pamphlet. Gotta go, man. Oliver has eyes everywhere. Stay frosty. Right there, stranger. State your name and business. The courier? Ain't you that courier fella? The real courier? Ah, all right. So, you're here to sign up for a tour of the frontier? Then I hope you are prepared for all of the risks. The frontier is a very unforgiving environment. All right. Talk to Lieutenant Gray in the tent. He'll get you sorted. Hey, Quinn. Ain't that useless jester head in Baker Company calling himself the courier? Has a scar in his dome, too? Yeah, told everyone when he was famous or something. <laughs> Last time I checked, the only thing he was good at was scrubbing the floors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up? Yes? Really? Well... I might just hit my daily quota after all. I'm curious. You're obviously not one of these brain-dead grunts. Or your typical merc. Why would you want to go to the frontier? Why fight for us? Huh. I figured you'd be interested in the pay. Which is 2,000 caps, by the way. Well... I've always thought that a good soldier's an honest soldier. I've heard about squads getting wiped out because some pig-headed sergeant couldn't admit she was wrong. Idiot! <clears throat> Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. That's just what I've heard. Fire away. Uh, figuratively, that is. Keep in mind that I can only provide information on a need-to-know basis. Aside from freezing weather and... Uh, a bunch of lunatics trying to carve you into pieces. Not much. Just do as you're told. What else? Well, to be clear, we're not really a part of the NCR anymore. We're exiles. We moved to the frontier to get away from the NCR and the Mojave. We chose to make camp in the frontier due to it being a pre-war city, rich with resources that we would like to make good use of. But, as of lately, we have been having trouble with the Legion who managed to organize the locals against us. That would be General Blackthorn. He was the one who led us to the frontier. I've known Blackthorn for quite some time. He's a top-notch tactician, and you'll never find a more dedicated soldier. But more importantly, he cares about his soldiers. He cares about them more than the NCR ever have. His men trust him, enough to follow him into hell. So what do you say, soldier? Ready to give a good old-fashioned ass-kicking to the Frontier and the Legion? I got it. The military life isn't for everyone. The sooner you take care of business there, the sooner you're back to your normal life here. Whatever that may be. If it takes three days, then congratulations. You've completed the shortest tour in NCR history. The brass just want this done. The sign-on contract is different from the ones we use for regular enlistees. Look it over. There aren't any clauses about desertion. Just get the job done, get the caps. If you waste our time, we'll waste yours. That's just how it is. So, what do you say, soldier? Ready to do the Frontier NCR proud? Well, a soldier's a soldier. Now that you're working for the Frontier NCR, you're going to need a uniform. Long term or short term, Brass demands that all troopers be geared with standard NCR equipment. It's supposed to promote order and unity or some kind of feel-good crap like that. Here, take this. Now, to our next prerogative. Which gun do you prefer? 
A well-rounded weapon, that is. You're all set. Hop onto the back of the transport truck when you're ready for the journey. It'll be a long trip, so be sure to bring all essentials. And remember, there won't be any return trips to the Mojave until your tour is completed. Our business is finished. You're in Sergeant Johnson. Speed, soldier. What is it? It's going to be a long trip to the frontier. I suppose I could help pass the time by telling out a full story. If you're up for a long story, that is. Well, our story mostly began a few years ago, during Operation Sunburst. It was our mission to take Helios One from the Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe we should just send you down there to tell jokes. Hold Elijah for five minutes till he surrenders. After fighting for five damn long years, if we win this fight, we get to go home. I've been dreaming of this day forever. Hey, Ray, what are you doing again after all this? To be honest, I figure I'll be better off just staying in the army. There really isn't anything really wanted for me back home. Ray, you're batshit crazy. That's why we love you, man. Isn't Hardcase doing the same thing? Yep. He's going to stay in the NCR military. Oh, uh, we'll settle for a comfy bed and not having to fend off rad scorpions every time I get up to take a piss. And he's something besides NCR dog chow? Oh, hell yeah. Boys, let me tell you something. I mean, yeah, sleep and food are definitely good. But I got myself a pretty girl back at home. I've been looking forward to this for a real long time. You know, I, I think when I get back, I'm gonna ask that girl to marry me. I even bought this here ring for her. So, you know, might as well go for it, you know what I mean? All right, Nomad. Taking the plunge. Holy shit. That must have cost you a year of salary. Nomad, Nomad. You're trading one conscription for another, man. Not me. <laughs> Too many pretty faces out there for me to just pick one. Hey, Gray. Can you do me a favor? What is it? If something happens to me, could you send this ring to my girl? The address is on my wheel here. I don't trust any of these things to do it. I'm going to see her again. Don't worry. Yeah, but just give me a word, Gray. <sighs> If it will ease your mind, pal, you got it. But after this battle, you owe me a beer. Fair enough. General, sir. At ease, gentlemen. Tonight, the Republic will get another victory to celebrate, and you'll all be sent home to your families. 
Our objective is to seize control of Helios 1 and to capture that bastard Elijah alive. Let me repeat myself. We need him alive. But before we get to it, know this. I would not have traded you for any other company. The last five years may have been tough, but together we have brought the Brotherhood of Steel to its knees. As always, I will fight alongside you. We fight together, we die together, and we will win together. This is it, men. Prepare yourselves for combat. Wait for it. Now! has the interior covered. Get back out there and secure that door. Gray, there is no easy way to say this. The NCR hospitals and their staff are currently overwhelmed. If they are too injured, you need to put them down. We have too many injured. We don't have the resources to take care of them all. If, if you find anyone beyond saving, you need to put them out of their misery. I don't like it either, but it's in order, soldier. We just don't have the men and supplies for all of the wounded. You are giving them a merciful death, if it makes the task any easier on your conscience. As for you, General Oliver has promised me this will be your last fight. After we clean up here, we are to report to Camp McCarran to receive you and your men's discharge papers. <sighs> Is there a problem? If you can't order your men to do it, then I will. You understand. Remember, 
Your boys are going home after this. Get it done, Gray. And discreetly. We did it, Gray. <coughs> I made it. Those bastards got me good. They... Sure about this, Gray? Absolutely, sir. There is nothing back for me at home. You don't even like the NCR. <laughs> well, I figured I'll probably learn more under you than herding cattle back up north. Don't worry. I've made up my mind. Besides, sir, who's going to watch your back? I'm glad you decided to stick around longer. I hope you'll see the NCR isn't all that bad. Hey, you want to head? <laughs> This better not be another false alarm. I think something is really going on. Hey, Sergeant! General, sir. 
What's all this about? We have received reports that the Legion is invading east of the Colorado. Fort Aradash has already been lost. What? No, not already. The Legion? Aren't they just some primitive tribals? We need to go see General Oliver. Come with me. Elias? Is that you? Damn good timing. I need you and your men to reinforce Hoover Dam. We've gotten reports that... With all due respect, Lee, I'm not here for that. I'm here for my men's discharge papers. Discharge papers? Ah, yes. You're in charge of the conscripts. They're soldiers, not conscripts. They fought and died for a cause not of their own. It's time we let them go. You promised them at the conclusion of the Brotherhood of Steel War, they would have earned their freedom. Once I give them their discharge papers, I can lead another detachment to Hoover Dam. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sure you've heard by now. The Legion is trying to push their way into the Mojave. We need every damn soldier we can get to defend Hoover Dam. Listen here! These men were promised that they would be free. I gave them my word. You gave them your word. How can I look them in the face and promise them death instead of freedom? How the hell can I do that, Lee? We've got to let them go! I understand how you feel, but we need those men, Elias. You have others, Lee! Contact the goddamn hub if you have to! I shouldn't have to tell you that our presence in the Mojave is on the brink of collapse. We lost too much with the War of the Brotherhood. I need your men to immediately reinforce Hoover Dam. That's an order. I'm through taking orders from you, Lee. I'll take this up with Kimball. This is Kimball's orders. I've only been relaying it to you. I'm sorry, Elias, but you should be proud. Who would have thought a bunch of ragtag group of conscripts would become such an effective fighting force? You did a damn good job with them. They should be going home, not off to another goddamn war. They've sacrificed enough. I understand, but we all have our duties. You can't just abandon them. Where do you think you're going, Blackthorn? We're not finished here! If you walk out on us now, it will be desertion! What are we going to do now? Get the men together. For Hoover Dam, sir? No, I'm leaving this Republic. Let them fight their own battles. But they'll hunt you down for desertion. That's why I need to go somewhere far. Far enough that the NCR wouldn't risk coming after me. What about the rest of the men? Are you going to take them along with you? They can come if they so choose. I'm not going to force anyone to join me in my desertion. This is something I believe I must do. You can always count on me to follow your lead, sir. But where exactly are you planning on going? I know of a place far up north. A very cold and unforgiving place. But mostly untouched by scavengers. It would be an ideal place for us to carve out a frontier for ourselves. I can only hope that this will become the driving force that will one day return to the Republic and set things right. Interesting. You'll be reporting to Camp Phoenix. I hope you're the legend they say you are, Courier.
Sorry, sir. I'm just... Tiberius Rancor, Black Torn's second in command. I'm not really sure what he does. My guess is that he's a spy. He's also well known for being an athlete, a tough commander. Yeah, that's him. Weird. He usually doesn't meet the new recruits. I guess there's something special about you. Me? I'm just a soldier. Though I do some courier work on the side. It's bad. Real bad. We're holding our own against the Legion, but it's not easy. We've been using mass graves for a while now. Things would be worse if it wasn't for the wolf pack. They're an elite unit made up of four people. Hard case, AJ, Mouse, and Hotshot. They're the best of us, and have been key in pushing the Legion back. You could say that our secret. See you soon. Quartermaster Gallius, and your sorry ass better not be needing any more ammo. I'll see what I can do. Tuner, in case you didn't know. Could we make this quick? I have work to do. One of the grunts got drunk and puked all over this terminal. Hasn't been working since. You can try, but I doubt you'll have much success. Well, there's NZR radio, but that mostly just feeds you propaganda. The only other radio station of note is the Breach Outreach. We technically aren't supposed to listen to them, but it's not like anyone could stop us. I know that they're much the same as their southern brothers. Cruel, brutal, and yet effective. Sometimes I wonder if this war is even worth it. What if we just let the Legion have the frontier, or try to make peace with them? That is very true. Only there was another way. A better way. I'm sorry, we're getting off topic. We were once a part of the new California Republic, until they betrayed us. Blackthorn led us to Camp New Phoenix and promised that one day we would return to California and right Kimball's wrongs. As my name implies, I'm a communications officer. I also work with Johan and Wei to help repair the airport's technology. Most people you talk to will write him off due to his attitude. While it's true he can be abrasive, his frankly impressive intellect more than makes up for it. We wouldn't have half the equipment we do now if it wasn't for him. Johan Reynolds is a dedicated soldier and a fine mechanic. <laughs> Not as good as me, obviously, but he's at least better at repairing weapons. Some here find his opinions controversial, but I find myself agreeing with him more often than not. Yeah, I've had some trouble sleeping lately. I think it's starting to affect my mood. I'm good to work, though. The doctor's made that clear. It's private. You'd be right. The doctors say I have a minor case of PTSD, and that's on top of clinical depression. They've been doing the best they can to help me, but it hasn't been enough. 
Bye. What? You did? Let me take a look at this. This... This is obviously a fake. There's no way you could have fixed this without me. Could you go? I have to clean up your mess. You're the courier. I never thought I'd see you in person. And I'm glad to see Freak Show hasn't gotten his hands on you yet. I'm Roach. You need anything? Oh yeah, that. I don't like to talk about it too much. Uh, some raiders came by my family's homestead and shot up the place. A few animals were killed and I took a good hit to the leg. It never healed right, which is why I chose to fly. A lot of people here will give you long-winded stories about why they joined, but I just really needed the caps. I probably would have stayed in California if Tiger hadn't convinced me to come up here. I'm a pilot, same as Tiger. Sigurd may have more kills than us, but we've flown more missions. I'll be the first to admit he's a bit of a blowhard, but he has the skills to back it up. With him as my wingman, it's smooth flying. Whatever. You wouldn't happen to be the courier of the Mojave. Huh, I thought so. Cough up, hotshot. You don't look like much. You seem a little eh, short for the legendary courier of the Mojave. It don't matter, hotshot. The courier is the courier. What was it? You were betting 200? Shit. This ain't fair. You were the one who made the bet. Plus, I paid you first. I won't tell Mouse about this. Already in my There is no way this is the courier, man. I'm telling you. I have these special senses. I can feel it in me. No way in hell is this the courier. Hey, I'm Hardcase, leader of Wolfpack. This asshole here is Hotshot. I'm telling you, this is the courier. That ain't the courier. Mind telling me why the hell you signed up for a tour here? After a week here, you're quickly gonna realize that 2,000 caps isn't worth it. 
I saw troopers here try paying the drivers to take them back to the Mojave. Unfortunately, they were immediately arrested and executed for attempting to desert. If anyone is going to make it out of here alive, it's you, Courier. This dude is doggone crazy. Well, my poor misguided friend here doesn't seem to believe you are, Courier. I say, you beat his high score in the shooting course to make him believe that you are the Courier. A hundred bottle caps of this asshole not beating my score. Warming up? There's no such thing as warming up. Especially in the frontier. <laughs> I'll bet 50 caps this punk can't beat my score. No, scratch that. Make it a hundred. You don't even have a bottle cap on you. Hey, why don't you meet us at the shooting course? Maybe you can teach Hotshot to put his mind. That zombie hasn't been feeding you lies about me. People around here call me Tiger. You can consider me your replacement. I was once like the others here, an ordinary soldier conscripted to fight the Brotherhood. But when I was assigned to General Blackthorn, that's when I realized I was no ordinary soldier. I was destined for greatness. It is in this frigid wasteland that I will become a legend. I'm a pilot, same as Roach. Doesn't matter what it is. Bombing runs, transport, recon, we can get it done. No problem. Yeah, the ghoul. I think he calls himself Freak Show now. He just loves to spew lies about me, making me sound like I'm some kind of asshole. In case he tells you otherwise, that midget had it coming. I chose the nickname myself after the deadliest animal to ever live. Tiger's had claws sharper than a death claw, a stare meaner than a super mutant. They had massive wings, tentacles that can break your neck, and laser eyes. A part of me is glad they died out, but another part of me wishes I could have ridden one. Isn't it? Caesar may fear the bear, but soon he's going to fear the tiger. I couldn't ask for a better wingman. He can keep up with me no problem, and he hates the zombies just as much as I do. Okay, that was a bit harsh. How about successor? Yeah, that works. That was obviously backhanded, but I'll take it. Stay strong, courier. Stay strong. Hey there, Courier. I'm Badger. You need anything? 
monsters. That's the best way to describe them. They rape and murder entire villages of people for no reason. They're a bunch of rabid dogs. We're gonna put them down. We used to be conscripts in the NCR army. We survived against the Brotherhood, only for our leaders to turn around and try and send us after the Legion. Blackthorn had no intention of following that order, and led us to the frontier. Once we defeat the Legion, we'll leave this place behind and restore the NCR to its former glory. While the NCR you know is spread thin and giving people secondhand gear, but our dominance is mostly thanks to our location. During the Great War, the frontier was a staging ground for the US military. They may be gone, but they left behind all the equipment and vehicles they stockpiled here. Now we have tanks, howitzers, even gasoline. The only caveat is that the Legion also has access to these stockpiles. Heck yeah I am. I fired my first rifle when I was only 10. For most of my career in the NCR, I served as a designated marksman. They even issued me a 50 caliber sniper rifle during the Brotherhood War that could blow a hole straight for the armor of a T-51B. I still have the rifle, though not a lot of ammo left for it. He's a great leader and an even better general. He knows when to stick to orders and when to loosen up. The NCR were fools to lose a man like him. Bye, Courier. Welcome to Camp New Phoenix, home of the wolf pack, suffering, and surprisingly good cereal. I'm AJ, by the way. Nice to meet you. When we left California, we thought we'd left them behind. And out of nowhere, they attacked Outpost Gresham, and we've been fighting them off ever since. We probably would have won by now if it wasn't for Legate Valerius. He's the leader of the Northern Legion, just as cruel and brutal as any Legionnaire. But he's also calculating and intelligent, which are not two words usually associated with the Legion. I was bored at home and wanted to see the world. The NCR military seemed like it could fix the former and provide the latter. Of course, instead of seeing the world, I got thrown into a meat grinder with a bunch of other kids. Still, if I hadn't joined, I wouldn't have met my friends. So, there's that. Because they lied to us, that's why. They said that once the Brotherhood War was over, we could go home. Instead, they wanted us to fight the Legion. Rather than force us into another pointless war, Blackthorn led us here. You're not the first to point that out, but Blackthorn had no idea the Legion would come here. The fault for this war is squarely on the Legion. Angel's Justice. That's what I used to call myself when I first joined. Yeah, I was kind of edgy. Angel's Justice. That's what I used to call myself when I first joined. Yeah, I was kind of edgy. I'll never tell. I was just trying to have a little fun. Jeez. My real name is Ophelia. My parents said it was from some old world play, but I never got around to reading it. I wish it was. NCR Radio tries to keep spirits high, but it's hard to ignore the reality of what's happening. It's hard enough for the wolf pack. I can't imagine what the grunts have to go through. Isn't it obvious? Oh, right, you just got here. I'm a member of the Wolf Pack, your friendly neighborhood elite paramilitary unit. Well, for starters, don't believe a lot of what you hear. We weren't destined for greatness or bred in a lab or anything. We're just a group of friends who stuck together during the Brotherhood War. Apparently, we were a really good team. So good that people started to think we were super soldiers. Which leads to our current predicament. We like being appreciated, but people here forget that we're only human. Sometimes it feels like they expect too much out of us. Even Blackthorn. Hardcase is the best leader you could ask for, no question. He's tough, but fair. And make sure we're at our best. Mouse is an old vet, but he's still a capable warrior. I wouldn't want anyone else watching my back. 
Hot shot. Well, he's a good shot at least. I know I can count on him in a pinch. Even if he does have a huge crush on me. He's professional about it. And he hasn't hit on me yet, so I'm okay with it. Besides, who knows what could happen when this war is over. I wouldn't mind having the courier on our team, but you'd have to ask Hardcase. Okay then. Roger that. something important to say, make it quick. It's for their own good. The frontier's a rough place and my troops need to be at their best to survive it. It's not as bad as it was in the Brotherhood Wars. The NCR often treated us like cannon fodder. They didn't care how many casualties there were. But under General Blackthorn's command, the casualties have been low, even while surviving in this harsh environment. The alternative would have been to stay in the Mojave fighting the Legion over some pre-war dam that barely works while under a president who doesn't even give a damn about his own troops. The resources we've gathered from the frontier already outweigh the value of the Hoover Dam any day. General Blackthorne knows what he's doing. His men wouldn't have followed him here if he didn't. Warrant Officer Troy Parks. But most just refer to me as Officer Parks. It is my duty to make sure these troops make it back home alive and in one piece. We're not all here to die in some grandiose war. Most soldiers often die from a lack of shelter, malnutrition, or disease. And in a place like the frontier, we lose more men to the cold than we do the tribals armed with makeshift weapons. I'm determined to see my troops make it out of here alive. I expect I'll see you again out on the field. Good luck out there. I haven't seen you around here before. You must be new. I'm Sergeant First Class Rico Delgado of the Wolfpack, but you can just call me Mouse. Nice to meet you. You don't look like the usual grunts who come off the trucks. You look like you've seen your share of battles. It's an ironic name I used to fool my foes into underestimating me. You wouldn't expect someone with a name like Mouse be some big grizzly veteran armed with a heavy machine gun. They're good soldiers, all of them, even Hotshot. I've been a member of the Wolfpack a long time. I've seen many killed and replaced. I try not to get too attached to the new members. It just makes it easier to deal with, you know? As the oldest member of the Wolfpack, I mostly advise other members. I still go out on missions. Not as often as I used to. Uh, I hope this war comes to an end soon. I'm getting too old for this line of work. I trust he knows what he's doing. I'm not one to question his orders. But I'm all for a peaceful solution over a misgrievance with the NCR back home. I just wish to return my family in the Mojave. It's been four years since I last seen or heard from him. See you around. Salvete fratres, non estes inamicos. Legate Valerius has yet to be informed of your arrival. Help the NCR until he is ready to see you. Calidus will be in touch. Get away! The heart! 
stronger! It's too strong! Must have flesh! <laughs> oh, the look on your face! <laughs> you must have actually thought I was gonna eat you! Thanks, I think. Anyway, I'm pretty sure. What do you need? It's pretty good as long as you're okay with side eyes and people occasionally trying to shoot you. Ghoul prejudice is a problem even in California. Most recruits can't tell the difference between me and a feral. Not that their drill sergeants even try and teach them the difference. Moving to a colder climate didn't make those prejudices go away either. Hell, if that ghoul called out there, it may have just made things worse. A few, but they mostly stay out of sight. The only one I can remember off the top of my head is Quartermaster Aaron, and he's all the way out at the Vanguard station. Funny story, that. A bit long, too. So I think I'll give you the short version. A long time ago, I was a merc. Good one, too. But I lost everything once I started drinking. During the Brotherhood War, I was at my lowest point, begging people for caps just so I could waste them on booze. One day I was too drunk to notice an evacuation order was being called and woke up in the middle of a battle. Most Smoothskins would have just left me to die, but not Blackford. He made sure I got out, even kept me safe the whole time. The way he led his troops, it wasn't like anything I'd seen before. After that, I cleaned up my act. Signed up for service and requested the work under Blackthorn. Been following his orders ever since. I skipped out the parts involving strip clubs and the Kraken. Makes the story more concise. He's our leader and a great... Nah, that's a bit too much. A good man. Yeah, that's fair. I... Look, I don't have anything against the guy. I wouldn't be here without him. But he's not exactly a saint. He thinks that we're the only ones who can save the world. And when people don't agree with that, well, then you get another bright town for Snowblind Point. I just hope he learns his lesson before Junkly ends up as a hole in the ground. Oh, you don't know, do you? I'd rather not air out our dirty laundry more than I already have. If you want to know more about Bright Town, talk to Jackson. Poor guy was there when it happened. I think you're a bastard, like all smooth skins. Just kidding, you're great. If I had to loot anyone's corpse, I would choose yours in a heartbeat. Just having some fun. When you have a face like mine, you might as well use it for something. Like you wouldn't believe. A good sense of humor helps when your face is basically a rotted pumpkin. Me, friends with Courier 6. Who would have thought? It's because of my freakishly good looks, if you know what I mean. What? Oh no, it's not like that. There are a few bigots here, yeah, but I chose the name myself. It fits me. Later. 